What's going on guys? My name is Dr. James Cellini. I'm a board certified veterinary neurologist. On uh, today's episode, I wanted to take advantage of a trending video that showed some very cute dachshunds doing some dog version of Olympic sporting events. Uh, this video is called the Wiener Olympics and it's by um, a very popular content creator called Crusoe the Dachshund. So guys, before we watch the video, I just want to get into some facts about dachshunds. So dachshunds are heavily, heavily predisposed to what we call intervertebral disc disease and intervertebral disc herniation. Disc disease refers to the fact that their discs, those are the shock absorbers in their spine in between their vertebrae, they tend to degenerate at a much more rapid and severe rate compared to a normal dog. The reason for that is Dachshunds are what we call chondrodysplastic, or they have chondrodysplasia. They're essentially dwarfs. Their bodies aren't necessarily longer per se, they just look longer because their legs are so short. And their legs are short because their genetics impart what we call chondrodysplasia and chondrodystrophy. Chondrodystrophy um, will predispose a dog to having a disc herniation. To give you an idea of how prevalent this problem is, UC Davis recently published data that shows that 98% of dachshunds have one or more genes that impart chondrodystrophy. So obviously hugely prevalent in the breed. In light of that, I'm gonna watch this video and go through some things that come to my mind watching these guys kind of hop around and jump around and be silly. Um, and just mention some things that we talked about and recommend to owners of dogs uh, who have disc disease and owners of dachshunds who suffer from this. Before we get started, if you don't mind hitting the like and subscribe button, that would be great. Maybe leave a comment if you liked what you see. Okay, let's get to it. The first event is swimming. Crusoe. Okay, so I think I like Daphne the best. No offense to Crusoe and the other one who's about to come out, but I'm partial to long-haired dachshunds. I think they're so cute, and in particular, these yellow-coated or golden ones. Um, I absolutely love working with them. They're, they're some of my favorite dogs. They're so adorable. We hear she's a surprisingly good swimmer. Ooh! Wow, what a great play by okay. And fantastic form on that. Okay, so something to talk about right off the bat. I think that was Oakley Doakley that jumped in there. As he jumps in, you can see how his back legs kind of arch over his front legs and he starts to enter the water almost perpendicular to the ground. And you see his head jutted up. So his head and into his thoracic spine makes this like L shape. But you see all of that sort of like torque on his spine doing that. Now, Oakley's jumping in the water, so it's not a big deal. There's no impact when he jumps into the water. Um, but we generally tell owners, especially of dachshunds and other dogs who have just herniated a disc, they should not be jumping from things. Now imagine him hitting the ground or, or kind of landing on the ground with his front feet, with his spine shaped like that. You can see if he were to land, the force would kind of transfer up his spine. Um, that's a good example of what we're trying to get them not to do um, You know, when we see dogs for disc herniations when we're managing them uh, long term. Obviously, Oakley, again, Oakley's jumping in the water, not a big deal, but uh, just a good thing to kind of stop and talk about. Daphne with a very graceful jump in. All right, Daphne came in second. There's a lot of Olympics left to go, though, so we'll see. All right, event number two is weightlifting. Now we're over to Daphne. She's new to weightlifting. Waste no time at all. So obviously the dogs are having fun lifting a little half gram, uh, you know, pretend barbell there. But one point I did want to make is speaking towards things like uh, cervical disc herniation. So we also see plenty of those. In fact, I just did a surgery on a dachshund with a cervical disc herniation a couple of days ago. Um, but what we generally recommend in dogs, again, with disc disease or who are what we call chondrodystrophic um, and kind of shaped like dachshunds anyways, um, is maybe to limit the amount of stress they put on their neck. Um, things like tug of war and like, you know, pulling out a leash and playing games where you're kind of doing this to them and um, having them, you know, lifting them up by something that they're uh, holding on to with their mouth. We tend to try to shy away from for fear of, again, we're just trying to reduce the amount of like biomechanical force and stress on their spine. Um, obviously, again, they're not doing anything remotely bad here. I'm not saying that, but it just brings up a, a point that we try to nail home uh, when we're dealing with cervical disc herniations in dogs. All right, so we're gonna skip ahead here. There was a fencing event that Daphne actually won. Um, she managed to 
I don't know the term, the fencing term, but she managed to take her pole and jab it into her owner's uh, nether region. So um, that apparently means that she won. Good job, Daphne. Don't worry, guys. You won't be seeing him around here anymore. <laughs> I got him real good. Daphne, God, you're killing me. All right, so I'm assuming that they're not going to be jumping from uh, 10 meters. So I have to say this as a veterinarian, definitely don't try this at home. I am only assuming that they're using camera angles and they're right there to make sure that he doesn't fall, but um, please don't pull like a backyard amateur wrestling sort of move and try to mimic something like this. Uh, this is obviously you know, quite dangerous for a dog to be on high elevations. But again, I, I, I'm assuming that they've got all sorts of safety precautions and they would never let anything bad happen to him. One, two, Geronimo! Wow, stupendous bad... Okay. Yeah, I don't see Daphne really uh, participating in that. Alright, looks like Oakley won a goal. There you go. Alright, fourth event is the long dog jump. Here she goes. Good job. Seven centimeters. That puts her well on the board. Good job, Daphne. Next up is Oakley Doakley. Wait a minute, he seems to. I gotta say, it's pretty impressive that Daphne, as small as she is, was able to jump over a meter. That's, you know, that's pretty good. Geronimo! Ooh, that must be disappointing. So you actually see right there on the smaller ramp, he his when he jumps off the ramp. You start to see his back legs kind of go over his front legs a little bit, and then he lands before it gets to be too, you know, wonky. Um, that's kind of like a smaller version of what he did when he was jumping in the pool uh, earlier. So that, that's kind of what I was talking about, is you want to be careful with them jumping and putting too much torque on their back like that. All right, the last event is the 100-meter Dachshund Dash. So who is the returning champion here and the favorite for the race? And I still like Daphne. He has had quite a come up in recent years. And Oakley, well, judging by his long jump, he is definitely the underdog. I couldn't help but notice Oakley kind of has a, a little bit of like a kind of a uh, 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 uh to his gait when he's walking. I don't know if, you know, he, he's uh, middle-aged, it looks like Docs and maybe older, so I don't know if he's had a prior issue or not. But um, if anybody knows and follows this account, um, feel free to comment below. Let me know if he's had an issue before. Let's just race. All right, let's go. Good start by Daphne. She's on her toes, but the boys aren't far off. Oh my God, Daphne. Daphne with a slight lead, but I think the boys are making ground. He seems to notice them. So this is a good opportunity to bring up the whole issue of like crate rest. So when we have a dachshund who has suffered from a disc herniation, whether they don't get surgery or whether they do get surgery, afterwards we're generally recommending some period of strict rest where they're crate rested or something close to crate rest for a number of weeks. We're basically trying to mimic bed rest uh, as much as we can, like a person would do. What I generally recommend is, as far as like a lifestyle for dachshunds go, if they've ever had an issue with a disc herniation before, um, I tend to recommend just kind of keeping things as low impact uh, but still exercising them as best you can. So stuff like swimming, leash walks, even like backyard play and things like that. Um, maybe just like slow walks on a trail, something along those lines. Anything that you can do that is just low impact, but still a good constant activity. My thought process is, you know, people, it's been shown that 10,000 steps a day will decrease your all cause mortality and generally allow you to like maintain a healthy body weight. And walking burns a lot of calories. It's, it's an underrated source of cardio for people. But it turns out that all you really need to do is walk a certain amount of uh, distance per day, again, 10,000 steps. 
you can have pretty effective cardio and a pretty healthy lifestyle and a pretty you know ideal or close to it body weight obviously there's you know diet and things like that i try to think about that when i make recommendations for dachshunds and dogs like them with disc herniations i you know we generally don't want them sprinting we don't want them jumping and doing high impact stuff but there's no reason they can't go on long low impact sort of leash walks and things of that nature swimming stuff like that to help them maintain a good body weight and keep them mobile. Mm -hmm. So that's generally what I recommend with, with dachshunds and dogs that have suffered from disc disease in the past. My oh my, I have never seen anything like this! And no surprise, Kathy holds the position to the finish line. There you go. He tumbles into second and Alright, looks like Daphne won. Crusoe skips through to third. Normally there'd be a disqualification. I don't know if any of these uh, dachshunds have had any issues with disc herniations in the past. Um, if anybody follows their, their content and their YouTube channel, feel free to let me know. Um, I'd be interested to see if there's any videos they have about them going through the process and their recovery and whatnot. This is the Wiener Olympics. Lucky for her, she takes the gold, making so, it her third gold here. Yeah, so I think Wiener Daphne Olympics. Daphne's okay, going to win. The silver medal here, who has won two golds in these games. Finally, Crusoe I think, with I think, bronze, who has also won two golds here. Loser, you loser, boy. Exactly. I mean, Daphne. See, I told you I would whack your butt. That race was a little nefarious, Daphne. But hey, this was fun, guys. Oh we should my do God. it again next year. Daphne. Yeah, I want to redo on that last one. But yeah, it was fun. For the future, I would like to elect digging and fishing as events. I think I'd be good at those. Oh, oh! We haven't seen him for a while. Yeah, good to be back. And we've got some cool new stuff coming up. So yeah, did something happen with Oakley? I don't know as well including more episodes i've also been working on a mobile phone game as well as a new website and more and i've been working on a new scarf my fans now watch some bloopers and bonus clips and do hit that like and subscribe button Anywho, toodaloo. all right so no offense to crusoe and oakley you guys are lovely obviously they're super cute too daphne just takes it to a whole new level all right, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope I was able to provide a little bit of educational value for you there. Fun video. I love this uh, account. I'm definitely going to subscribe to them and follow all their content from now on, and you should too because it's just super cute. Um, again, if you have any questions about anything, feel free to leave me a comment, um, and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Also, I'd like to just ask if anybody wants me to do another Day in the Life uh, episode. I did that about six months ago, and I was wondering maybe I would do about two a year going forward. Um, I had a good you know, amount of views on that video. Uh, it was one of my top videos. I think it might, it might be my top video. Um, but if you want me to do another Day in the Life, that'd be great. Um, and yeah, thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you next time.